Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Friends, welcome back to my channel In this session we will discuss induction cooker induction heater when we replace IGBT a switching device it works for a while for one hour 10 minutes short period of time and then it burns out it becomes short circuit it is exploded whatsoever what are the basic reasons why this IGBT damages again and again either in power supply either in welding machine either in inverter AC boards either in induction cooker why it gets damaged this is a question from one of my viewer my brother he sent me some pictures he told me that there are also he said this induction cooker I replaced the transistor IGBT it worked only one day and then he replaced the transistor it worked one day and damaged he replaced the transistor and within seconds it become heat up what are the reasons behind this there are many factors why it damages again and again and we will discuss all the features first of all if we see when this IGBT will take pulse here initially this line is VCE collector to emitter voltage when it is open it have full voltage that is here when it will receive gate drive pulse this is gate drive pulse here when it is increasing so its gate will start conduction so current will start flow the current will start from here at this point this is zero line so current will increase the voltage across this collector to emitter will start to decrease so it will saturate so its saturation voltage will minimum that is very close to its reference line zero line when it will switch it will cause to flow the current in the coil current this is coil current when this PWM drive gate drive will turn off at that time the collector voltage will start to increase it will increase gradually because its gate is turned off but collector to emitter junction will take some time that is called fall time then the coil current will become zero after that the stored magnetic field which was stored in this portion from this portion to this portion it will charge this capacitor so capacitor will charge negatively first it is taking positive voltage but due to this coil current coil voltage collapsing magnetic field it will charge opposite to the applied voltage in that scenario collector to emitter current is stopped this capacitor will discharge internally through this tank circuit through this coil so it will cause to flow negative swing negative current when the zero crossing detector will check that the voltage are reaching at zero degree it will switch again when it will switch again at that time collector to emitter voltage will again go to saturation so it will give a in phase trig to the coil current because this time coil current is increasing in positive side at that time the pulse arrived at the gate so it will cause an other strike and other pulse another trig another boost to this current so this will keep its oscillation it is using resonant magnetic field gate pulse collector to emitter saturation voltage and coil current these will work together if all the components here are good resonant coil and resonant capacitor are good at that time it will keep swinging it will keep switching when it will keep switching properly it will generate heat in the 
cooktop. In induction cooker, it uses resonant magnetic field. What is that? Here is positive voltage 310 volt, 300 volt DC, which is rectified from some bridge rectifier and is applied here. One series resistor, resonant coil, resonant capacitor. Resonant coil, that is the induction coil. Then there is a resonant capacitor that is installed on the PCB. So these two components make a resonant tank circuit. Because inductor, rarely it will change its value. But the capacitor most of the time, by the passage of time, its charge holding capacity becomes low. The reduced charge holding capacity causes to change in resonant frequency. If the capacitor changes its value, that means it will not complete a good oscillation. These are DC voltage on DC rail. We can say 310 volt. If you look this circuit, it works like this. When the transistor is off, at that time, VCE, voltage collector to emitter are high. Gate drive, we can say IGBTP, WM, pulse width modulation signal. When the voltage are high on the collector to emitter, at that time, there is no current flow in the coil. When it will receive pulse, at that time, at the gate, it received pulse, these voltage will start to decrease. And then it will become at VCE saturation. The gate is on and this IGBT will start conduction and the current will start to flow in the coil. Now, at this point, the current will increase. Now when the gate drive is off the voltage will start to increase on the collector again at this point. Why? Because this transistor is now open. At that time the coil stored the energy and now when the current is stopped here at that time, this energy will transfer to this capacitor here. But it will in opposite direction. First this end was positive, this end, this end was negative. But now, this end is negative and this end become positive. Why? Because the coil stored magnetic field is now collapsing and the voltage polarity will opposite. So capacitor will charge in reverse polarity. This transistor is off, IGBT is off, the negatively charged voltage on this capacitor will discharge in the winding now. So current will flow in the coil. This will the opposite current. This is resonant current. Now this system has to detect when it will need to another cycle, it have to detect this zero crossing. And it is programmed in the microcontroller, in the microprocessor. So microprocessor have to give a pulse. Now, we did not change anything except IGBT. Might be the resonant capacitor that is now weak. It is not making a good resonance here. This coil current is not going in negative peak properly. Zero detection circuit have to detect this current and then it have to generate a pulse. When it will generate pulse, at that time, transistor will saturate again. When it will saturate, its internal resistance will decrease, so it will drop minimum voltage. VCE saturation. When it is conducting, its internal resistance is dropped decreased so it will drop minimum voltage across its collector to emitter at this point when it is open circuit the maximum voltage appear like this it is high 310 volt and in this condition maybe it is 1 volt 1.5 volt like that when it is on when the gate is active it should be around 1 volt 1 point something now here is our the main 
question when it will cross from zero line at that time it must apply a second pulse so that coil positive going current and the switching pulse must be in phase if the coil current is we can say low at that time if it is switching or its zero detection circuit is not working properly at that time if IGBT will switch in this portion when the coil is in, in negative side and we apply voltage from here at that time this IGBT will take short circuit it will become heat up most probable cause that is this capacitor in first failure we replaced IGBT now why IGBT gets damaged the first that is zero detection circuit sometime it is using operational amplifier for zero detection sometime comparator and sometime the microcontroller detects directly the zero crossing pulse second thing this capacitor to overcome the issue of this capacitor if we check the ESR value of this capacitor we can find the good result might be the capacitance meter will show it it is good but ESR meter will give a perfect reading that at high frequency response what is its behavior now we will see the parameters which parameters are involved in the IGBT damage first factor that is material failure the first IGBT capacitor zero crossing detector so most probable chance that is number one number two number three fourth reason that IGBT gate components it is a material failure we can find these one two three four items then there are many human factors involved in IGBT failure because IGBT deals with high amount of current with high speed switching in replacement the first human factor that is in selection if we not check VCE saturation correctly VCE saturation which we discussed here that means the internal resistance of this component I say it have 1 milli ohm the original one at 300 volt when the current will flow at that time we can say it will drop 1 volt at full current and if we select some other component which have saturation voltage other than this its internal resistance is 1 ohm in that case it will drop 10 volt for example why its internal resistance is more than this it will dissipate more power if its internal resistance was 1 milli ohm at full current because I square R if its internal resistance is low at that time when it is power on when it is saturated it is allowing the maximum current to flow that means it will dissipate the low power internally its junction temperature will not increase too much and if we select some other component which have one ohm resistance so at one ohm resistance when the current will flow as per this formula if we have and if we have one ohm in this case if if it is dropping one milliwatt this will drop one watt so this dissipation power dissipation continuous repetitive power dissipation can cause to increase the jun junction temperature so we have to select a perfect matching for VCE saturation then generation of the IGBT either it is trench stop either it is field stop which type of technology is used in the original and which type of technology we are using in the replacement then the component quality from where we are purchasing the component most of the time the local vendors they select a poor quality component so we have to purchase that poor quality and if we use poor quality component at that time it will not meet manufacturers quality standard that time the material failure will occur again then the next that is soldering cleaning because IGBT is high current component it deals with high current if in soldering if we use a low quality solder wire it can also cause to damage it can also cause to increase the track resistance we must use a best quality solder wires like 60% uh, 40% rosen core solder this solder wire is 60% tin 40% lead and inside this pipe shaped 
solder wire inside this core it have a rosin it have a flux we don't need external flux to apply then i'm using this this solder wire it is 60 40 10 60 and lead 40 and it is also flux filled and no cleaning no cleaning 60 40 and always use a good quality solder when we desolder the existing component we must clean the contacts if we don't clean the contacts the existing solder wire solder flux and other oxides will remain in the pcb hole and it will increase the contact resistance so it can also cause to slow conduction of the transistor of the igbt so clean it properly use a good solder and use adequate amount of solder so that it will not increase the contact resistance then are we using heat sink compound when we use heat dissipating component mosfet igbt we must use heat sink compound and apply it properly use adequate quantity and place it in between the heat sink and component tab and tight it properly heat sensor temperature sensor if we place the temperature sensor with good contact with the igbt or heat sink it can also support to prevent from the burning from the damaging then the airflow airflow must be good gate charging component we have to check them properly the next feature that is gate capacitance this capacitance it is the gate cap capacitance inside the igbt if the original component original part number it was using 1300 picofarad and the new component either it is the same part number but it is not a good quality it is not some certified manufacturer might be it is giving 2000 picofarad if it is giving 2000 picofarad or above or less than so the existing gate drive components will not charge and discharge this igbt properly it will not go in full conduction in that time its internal resistance will not go in saturation mode so that it will give a resistance in the current flow it will dissipate the power the worst case scenario in the other condition when it will off it will try to go off its discharging component the gate drive components will not discharge it properly will not stop it properly it will stay in conduction mode so the reverse voltage will cause to make a overstress on this igbt and this igbt will damage immediately this is the very bad feature in this high power components to overcome all these issues because all these all these factors gate capacitance saturation voltage generation component quality these all parameters are required to select a best quality component from some reliable sources we can select some best quality components of providers or if we have some local store we should insist to provide a good quality component especially in power electronics because power electronics have no choice for the second option it will damage immediately so friends i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh